Hi, Stefan Smith of Art Smith Craftworks. Doing these box openings has been a lot of fun, so I think I'm going to do a few more of these. Today I've got another box of stuff that uh, friends of mine have collected. Like I've said before, I've got some friends that flip houses, and a lot of times there's boxes of things left over in these places. And so they know I do the sculpture uh, using repurposed materials, and they wind up giving me a lot of things that uh, I can use in the sculpture. So uh, let's go take a look at what I've got. Okay, so like I said, this box was given to me by some friends who flip houses. And it looks like the first thing is just an empty uh, box for Valentine candy. And, ooh, some old poker chips. Not even out of the container yet. That's kind of cool. If you'll notice, that's the old Kmart logo. 63 cents. I wonder how old these actually are. So these are sort of vintage poker chips, but... Uh, I may have somebody who's interested in those, or, you know, they could come in handy for a project. Uh, that's a case for reading glasses, compact case. we got some lids. Sometimes I can use this stuff, and sometimes I can't. Sometimes I can use the plastic to cut shapes and stuff out of, and other times it's got embossed stuff on there that kind of gets in the way, so I may recycle that part. But I do have a box of uh, wine corks. I've got some ideas for some projects for, for those. Not necessarily a, an airship project, but something else. Let's see. I don't know what that is. It uh, uh, looks like a letter opener that wants to be a pen. I don't know. Uh, paper tubes and lids. Rulers. Let's see. All kinds of stuff here. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Uh, it looks like some bobby pins and some wire. I don't know. These are... Looks like magnets out of something. I'm not quite sure what. But kind of cool. And pen parts. I actually do use some of these pen parts for certain things. So I do have a bunch of those that I've saved. Plastic shower curtain ring. Generic plastic ring. There's just a lot of stuff in here. I have no idea what this is. It looks like a little tiny rake. Uh, hmm, I don't know. Interesting. It's hard telling what I would use all of this stuff for, but then who knows? You know, I come up with some interesting things. These are some of the punch outs from some of those little metal sculptures that you can buy and put together. I'm not quite sure what I would do with that metal, but who knows. Emery boards, you know, you trim your uh, nails up a little bit. Miscellaneous odds and ends. There's a giant carabiner with a flashlight that probably doesn't work because there's no battery in it. Bookmarks. Star Trek bookmarks. Specifically Deep Space Nine books bookmarks. Anybody want any Star Trek bookmarks, you know, leave me a comment. Uh, tape cores. I actually use tape cores all the time. I have a bin just full of these tape cores. I've used them for a ton of different things. Just a nice, uh, cool shape to use. And wall anchors. I've used those from everything from cannons on the on the airships to uh, uh, portholes to you know. There's just tons of things you can do with those. I can't even name everything. All right, just random odds and ends and pieces here of different things, different shapes, metal, plastic. That looks like a charging end off of a universal charger for a phone. All right, let's set that off to the side. What do we have here? A couple of little Christmassy looking rocking chairs. I may just leave those as is. Those are kind of neat. Let's set that down. Uh, I was going to say just pill bottles, but actually these are pill bottles that have buttons and random little pieces and parts in there. Paper clips, golf tees, oh, there's a pot bottle cap. I actually have some projects in mind for some bottle caps. I'm sure uh, uh, there's all kinds of things you could do with those. Uh, hmm, boots and a saddle. It's a bank. That's interesting. A little bit a little bit rough looking but but kind of cool i mean you know there's lots of people that might be interested in that outright i'm not quite sure i can use that in a project um a doll stand you know looks like something that a doll would uh 
be displayed in but actually I've used those before for uh, my airship kits when they're put together you can use those as a, a nice little display uh, stand for a little airship too let's see what else do we have here oh this is kind of cool some kind of a bronze brass uh, plate of some kind that's pretty neat I'm not sure that I could use that in an airship either but maybe some other kind of project okay these look like you know one hit little little shooters like little uh, little saluting uh, shot glasses only they're in the shape of a little uh, you know champagne flute uh, I could probably actually find some interesting things to do with those a glass lens that's probably out of some kind of a frame but there are all kinds of cool little things you could do with that you could either do a painting on the inside of it it looks like a giant contact lens so that's got its own set of possibilities if you you know wanted to explore some neat stuff maybe a big window on the side of an airship too that could be neat and what do we have here another pill bottle with some beads in it um, that's a light socket that could have some potential cool uses uh, a little set of trimming scissors okay I probably got a ton of those here's some other plastic shape not quite sure what that was used for but generic shapes like this can come in in a lot of handy because when they're painted they oh that's not just a generic shape that's probably an antenna of some kind anyway these can be used for any number of metal looking flat pieces on a on an airship deck on the side of a ship on some other steampunk sculpture and they wind up coming quite in in handy because that kind of stuff is easily disguised as something else hey you know what a chopper my mother still uses one of these you know even in the age of uh, food processors and everything else so I don't know maybe I'll give mom a call and see if that's something that she could use uh, we got some interesting little wooden salt and pepper shakers and it says magnetic I don't know what that means oh maybe they go together there they go they kind of stick together those are kind of interesting I'm not sure quite how I would use those but we'll see and another pill bottle with something in it which I don't know what that is interesting okay looks like uh, we got an old radio here I was gonna say old radio parts until I realized that it was actually inside of a radio so if you look at that these these tubes are super cool and a lot of people wind up using those in one steampunk sculpture or another but these old radios I mean God, I, I remember using ones like this when I was a kid I mean this was pretty much the the mainstream kind of kind of radio. I think that's an old cord. So I'm not sure. I probably will wind up taking that apart. I highly doubt that it still works. Although I may uh, plug it in and see. I don't know. I don't really want to get electrocuted. And then we got some kind of a an iron cast iron trivet. That's kind of neat. That's got some neat shapes actually that would be cool to cast and reuse pour molds of a piece of wood who doesn't need a piece of wood I tell you and then some kind of a some kind of a tool a hammer it looks like it's got a, a pry on the top it looks like at one point it actually used to move but I don't think that's moved in a long time so I'm not quite sure what I'll do with that but anyway you never know what you're gonna find in one of these boxes some of it is gold, some of it's still junk. I mean, I know I'm, I, I don't keep everything I get. Uh, some things I can use, some things I can't. What I can't, I try to pass on because I'm a very firm believer. It's at the core of my whole artistic philosophy that, that things should be reused, repurposed as much as possible. There's too much waste in the world, too many things going into the landfills, too much that's polluting our, our world. So. I try to reuse as much of it as I can and what I can't use I try to give to somebody who can and if nothing else fails I try to recycle things so I'm Stefan Smith of Art Smith Craftworks if you know any maker friends who would like to see uh, you know this box uh, unpacking then uh, you know please uh, give it a like give it a share and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks <laughs>